Bah. 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 Hello, greetings, and welcome to the Kitty Corn stream, where the Kitty Corn does Kitty Corn things. I am your host, Aura Solanus. Hello. Hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic, super awesome day. And if you're not, well, that sucks, and I hope it gets better. Hi, Jackal. How you doing? How's the Jackal doing? Yo. Ah, wah, 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 wah. Oh, my God. So I, I did attempt to start stream a little bit earlier than I just started this one because, like, reasons. But uh, my internet was being kind of stinky. So I had to reset my modem. And now it is in tip top shape. So yay. Jacko is fine, thanks. Yeah, well, you are fine. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> See what I did there? See what I did there? Yeah ha 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 ha. Get heckin' got. Oh my love. Today is, let's see, it's the 27th. Unless you live in Australia, then it's probably the 28th. Uh, yeah. This is a bit earlier than I'm used to doing streams, but I was like, you know what? I feel like streaming. So I, was, I just, I just did it. And here we are. Yay. Right. Right. All right, then. I figured since it's been a good bit since uh, we last did a, a just chatting stream, I thought it might be a good time to do it. Because I was going through the, the mental gymnastics of like, what do I want to stream? Like, what game should I play? And it's like, you know what? It doesn't have to be a game. I could just chat and just hang out, you know? Sometimes that's that's just the, the pace you want to go with. That's just how it is. That's how it be. It do be like that sometimes. Now I need to check my YouTube to see if I actually did the thing. Okay. Sometimes after I upload a VOD, I forget to make it live, but uh, we're, we're good. That last VOD was the 22nd. Oof. Uh, Terraria, if you don't know, Terraria is the answer. Maybe for you, but I've, I've played so much Terraria that I got like super burnt out on it. It's hard for me to enjoy Terraria anymore. Because I played the shit out of it. I played it so much I got sick of it. Oh my lord. My lord. Loudy loud loud loud. Right, so in the time that y'all haven't seen me. Uh, what have I been doing? I've, I've played more Vintage Story, but the thing is, uh, because of the bread debacle, uh... We had to regenerate that part of the world. And so, yeah, that, that, that part wasn't fun. I, I had to restart most of my stuff. Well, I say most, but uh, because of like the, the, what's admin powers or whatever that Yume has, I got I got back a lot of the stuff and I, I ended up moving in with uh a bunch of people in the server. And we have like this big log cabin and I made the cellar. I'm pretty much in charge of all the food, even though I'm not like a, a chef class or anything. I keep everyone topped up on the food. I didn't log in yesterday though. I should be fine though, because like 
we had so much surplus on food that like we didn't even have to unseal the crocs for the winter like we we just had so much food just a shit ton man so much and it's great i did a good job good job me yeah uh what else what else uh been playing some hollow cure on and off a little bit how big server are you it's not a very big server like maybe five or six people play on it on and off there's me there's shadow auto service uh kirisunya uh dark and i th i think that's generally about it i know that you may wants to play but like he's busy he hasn't really logged on much so yeah that's that's six including you may yeah yeah uh dark's playing as a farmer shadow's a miner uh auto's a blacksmith i believe you may and i both are playing commoners and who who is the other one uh, Kirisunya, he's he's playing as the uh, treasure hunter class. So when he breaks open treasure, he gets extra loot. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, indeedly doodly. We're just about through winter now. Last I logged on, it was in the middle of February. So yeah. That's pretty cool. Pretty soon going to get to grow crops again. I made a ton of fried food with a maple syrup. It was great. <laughs> I know it's a weird idea of like using syrup for frying stuff, but the the reason why it works in my mind is like so instead of like using egg to to like uh what's what's the word so the reason why you normally use egg is to like bind the breadcrumbs to the like whatever you're frying but as long as it's a sufficiently sticky ingredient like say a type of syrup then it works and the cool thing about using maple syrup in vintage story is that it also gives uh, healing. It's quite nice. I also made a ton of, uh, maple gelatin, which also gives, like, extra health. Gives four health every time you eat it. It's great. Hi, Alexander von Jesterstein. How you doing? You want an egg? Egg. There you go. That's that's the best you'll get. I I don't really have much else from that. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I've also played a little bit of Rimworld. I ended up caving in and getting the the biotech uh expansion. And uh I've I've played a little bit of that. I played it on the 23rd, it looks like. Rimworld is amazing. It's great. Yeah. I find it interesting with like how many different like races you can make effectively because it's technically humans but you just like add stuff to them like you can add horns you can add a, add a tail you can make their whole body furry you can like give them really good melee really good shooting like all the skills and like Fire tolerance, heat tolerance, cold tolerance, etc., etc. That's pretty cool. Tell me a dream. Oh, I had a cool dream this morning. So I I had a dream where I don't know if it was me or someone else, but I was it was it was it was was it first person or third person? I'm not sure. I think it might have been first person. But, like, I was playing as basically uh, 
This is going to sound weird, but it was an isekai situation where I was summoned to that world, but not really because I could go back and forth from my world to their world through like some sort of dimension hopping type of deal if I really wanted to. And uh, I, I, I basically saved their world and that was cool. Yeah. There were there were a lot of really cool like snacks over there too. There was like, you know how uh, there's the little Debbie's oatmeal cream pies. They had this like type of uh, cream pie that instead of like oatmeal, it it looked like some sort of a uh, frosted thing, but it had Oreo in it, and that just sounds amazing. I, that just it sounds amazing. And I am all for that. Fire spitting? Uh, I I think I did have that sort of ability. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. I can't remember like the specifics about the dream, but uh, yeah, it was, it was cool. If I would have like written it down right after getting up, then I would have been able to like recall it a lot better but because i didn't write it down uh it's it's a bit fuzzier in the mind i have a lot of really cool dreams like that not not specifically the isekai stuff but uh well well yeah it there there is a good bit of isekai stuff that i uh i dream about but i also dream about like alternate realities where i have some sort of power a lot of the times it's just like the ability to fly which is pretty cool like it's it's weird because in the dream and even after having the dream i remember like the sensation of being able to fly like the the power that i i felt and like being in the air and stuff like that. That's weird. Get MSFS? What's what is that? MSFS. I I don't know what that means. MSFS. Is that a, a mod for something? Micro flight Microsoft Flight Sim. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'd I'd rather not cuz I'm that's not really my genre honestly the flight sim stuff nah and when I'm talking about flying I I don't mean like flying a plane right I mean like almost iron man style of flying minus the suit right that's one of the more recent ones where I had a special power I actually dream about flying quite a bit but a lot of the times it's like not how do i put it there are times when i dream where like the flight is more like telekinesis where like i'm moving my body with my mind type of deal but there's also dreams where like i'm physically flapping my arms like they're wings and flying and just like gliding over a over a landscape and just taking in the sights. It's such an ethereal experience. That's one of the things I love about dreaming. I just see all of these things and it's just so incredible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of Palea on and off. Or is it Palea? I don't know. I, I like saying Palea because uh, the general premise of the game is like you're a human that gets summoned after like this one person is interacting with ancient ruins. So the reason why I say Palea is because it remain, reminds me of paleontology. Because like it's it's a ruins. They're doing archaeology. So that's that just makes sense in my mind. That's why I call it Palea instead of Palea or Palea or whatever people call it. 
anyways, I've, I've been playing that on and off. I can't really play it very long at, at any one session because, like, it's it's one of those games where you have to figure out what you're doing and what you want to do. And I don't know what I'm doing or what I want to do. So I struggle. It's like, okay, I'm going to do this. Wait, no, I want to do this and, and then this. I'll do this too and a little bit of this. And it's like, okay, what now? Uh, I don't know. I just kind of... I just kind of lose my mind. It's like I I don't I don't know what to do. <laughs> what do? And and I just kind of like stop. I just kind of stop playing after like maybe an hour and a half. Don't you boot me, Lucy, you adorable cutie pie. Better be booping chat and not me. Jeez. Heck. Y'all, everyone, Lucy is back from her vacay. She's going to be starting streaming again tomorrow. Yes, it's going to be great. Let's see, where is it? Tomorrow at 1900 CET. So for me, that would be 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Because she's six hours ahead. All right, I should be up for that. If I'm not, then uh, uh, blame Thunder. Why? Because he's not here to defend himself. That's why. Meryl. Are you or awesome? I don't know. Am I? I don't know, man. I don't know. Ooh. Lucy is also going to be doing a uh, YouTube streaming on Tuesday and Wednesday. That's going to be fun. Those ones will be in the morning, though. Well, afternoon, if you're in the EU. How about uh, testing them out? I'll test you out. Ooh, woo. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm such a goober. I'm a goofy goober. Ew, woo. Uh, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Uh, last night I tried out, uh, Ankama's new, uh, tactical game called, I think it's Waven or Waven. Ankama are the group that made uh, Wakfu and Dofus. So, uh, trying out a new I am this. Pretty cool. Oh my god, is that a Turok? Holy shit. Why you do this? Why you do this? How heckin' dare you? How heckin' dare Tarak, thank you for your 38 months. What the heck? That is so long. Bruh. What are you on? You must be high or something because otherwise you wouldn't resub. Like, bruh. Bruh. It's over three years, Tarak. Do you know how much money you've wasted? By subscribing to me for three years? Goodness gracious. Once you get to 40 months, you know how much money you'll have spent on subscriptions? That'll be 200 bucks. Because five bucks per subscription times 40. Right? Yeah. 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 None? None what? None wasted? Bish. You are wrong. You're allowed to be wrong, but like... Well, how dare. How you doing today, Turok? And how's Lucy doing? Alexander Von Jesterstein, how you doing? 
Jacko, how you doing? I can't believe I didn't ask everyone how they were doing. What the heck? Track's doing good? Heck yeah. Yeah, that's right. See, Turok is nice. Turok remembered to give me head pats. Y'all are slacking. Y'all gotta play your aura attacks. Jeez. What the heck? I don't ask much from y'all. I just want head pats. Just, just give me the head pats. Being fine, except I had a small file out with my dad just now, but I will be fine. Oh. I'm sorry, Lucy. Everyone give Lucy hugs. Lucy needs hugs. And hot chocolate. Give her some hot chocolate. I would ask your sister if <laughs> if she could like make you some hot chocolate, but I'm sure that she doesn't watch my streams. Uh <laughs> Yo. Lucy, I hope everything gets better. You're a kind and beautiful soul. I only wish the best for you. Anyways, uh, what, what say, what do? Right, I was talking about Waven. Waven, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's probably Waven, but I don't, I'm not sure because the, the studio is French. So they might say things differently. Oh, I will say though, in uh one of the quests, so in in this one, they have actual like voice dialogue for the for the quests and stuff. And in one of the quests, I swear that it was Jesse and James from Pokemon, but like putting on a different voice, slightly different. Cause it was it's like these two people having a picnic and it's like a big dopey guy and this cute feminine lady and they're just like distraught because bugs are trying to wreck the picnic so you have to fight the bugs but i swear the way that they speak like they do their lines is spot on for for jesse and james that's great ah <laughs> nothing big just that my dad doesn't listen to me when i tell him i do know how things work and proceed to explain anyways ah i see i see that's not very cash money of him not very cash money at all not very poggers the lack of poggers is there yes indeed yeah uh just kind of told him off for once well good on you you gotta tell people that like it's not always okay to to do that sort of thing Like, I, I try to be tolerant and, like, patient most of the time. But, like, sometimes I just gotta be like, hey, hey, shut the fuck up. I know what I'm doing. Just, like, can you, can you just shut up for once? I know what I'm doing. Which is funny because, like, a lot of the times I don't know what I'm doing. Unless for like one or two specific things, I do know what I'm doing. And it's like, okay, you don't have to explain it to me. I already know. It's like, yes, I know what I'm doing. But then they explain anyways. And it's like, fuck. <laughs> eh. Good times. Good times. Yeah. Yeah. Meow. Meow. I've uh, been watching a good bit of YouTube. Started watching this channel called One Topic at a Time. They have a lot of uh, videos with memes of like LGBTQIA plus stuff. And it's it's quite entertaining. Quite entertaining. There's a lot of cute, wholesome stuff. 
And it's funny when the dude like reads out the stuff and it takes him a moment to realize the meaning behind it. Like, <laughs> it's great. That's great. Oh, man. There was one video where it was like lesbian memes and he he read something out and it was like it took him a good 15 20 seconds to realize what it actually meant and then he's like oh 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 <laughs> it was great it was great yeah oh my god Oh my gourd. Gourd, gourd, gourd. What else? What else? While I've been uh playing Vintage Story and some other games, I just have like the, the Trash Taste podcasts in the background. I am now on episode 72, so I still got a ways to catch up. That is indeed something to catch up on. The title of the video is Ghosts Don't Scare Us. Are you sure about that? I don't know. Did I hear a vintage story? You did indeed. Yes, boop the Lucy. Yeah, a vintage story is pretty great. I've been enjoying it. I, I do have to say, though, uh, it is significantly more fun playing with others than it is playing by myself that's something i've noticed with a lot of games like i'll enjoy playing by myself to some degree but it is so much more fun playing with others because like it's more clear to me what i should be doing or what i need to do because, like, I can assign myself a certain role, like, for for Vintage Story, the, the server I'm playing on, I'm pretty much the designated cook for the most part. So I, I, I take care of, like, all of the cooking, making sure the, the pantry is stocked up, basically, having meals and all that. It's pretty great. Pretty great, actually. Together is way more fun. I want to play on the server, but my shy ass. Lucy. Your ass is beautiful. Don't say that. <laughs> I haven't actually seen your ass. I don't think I've seen you, like, waist down. I've seen your face. Your beautiful, beautiful face. Uh, and, like... Yeah. Too scared to join? Yeah, yeah, I know. I've I've been there many times in the past. You're in the handholder server, right? Are you? Are you are you in the handholder server? Eh, Lucy. Okay, you're not. Wow. Fair enough. Uh, to, where where is the the invite thingy? Is it in rules section? Usually that's in the rules section. It is not. Okay, I don't know where where I would invite you then. Bruh. Uh Well, are you, are you interested in joining the handholder server? If you are, I can get I can see back at you and getting you an invite. Uh, I shall DM you me then. Uh, 
but I uh, he's sorry to bug you, but I have a friend who would like to join the hand holders server. Could I get an invite link or would you rather send it yourself? Person in question is Lucidia Luminos. All right, I have sent DM to Yume. Yume and Zai are the, the two that are pretty much in charge of the handholder server. E. But yeah. For, for those that don't know, handholder server is basically like a conglomeration of like a bunch of community friends. Like there's Doom, there's Shadow, uh, technically me, but I'm not really linked, if that makes sense. Like I'm not advertised there. Because I have confidence issues and I I didn't think I was worth being linked. Uh, yeah, that's something I need to work on. Also, uh, Tinsama is one. Who else? Uh, where, where is it under connections? It is. Rabbi's there. Donid. Uh, Neko. Sadra. Shreya, Nigel, Dudler. Oh my god, there's so many. So many people. I spy Aura? No, you don't! I'm invisible! I, I, I'll prove that I'm invisible. Uh, uh, hold, hold on. Where's... Uh, I'm... I'm invisible! You can't see me! Ha! Get got! Yeah, get, get get got. What what you gonna do? <laughs> I'm invisible. Also, hi, how you doing, Joy? Boop. Hey. Yeah, stealth one hundred. It reminds me of that D and D meme where there's like the orc that can't do stealth to save their lives, but. They have like super high intimidation, so it's like, you no see me, <laughs> and just intimidate people into being like, yeah, yeah, okay, I didn't see you, I can't see anything, what's going on? I'm blind, <laughs> that sort of deal. Oh my god, streamer has left stream. Time for chaos, Lucy. How dare? <laughs> uh, am all good. We just had food after building a bookcase. Oh, fair enough. Bookcase, huh? Only bookcase we have is downstairs. I don't think it was originally a bookcase, but that's what we use it for. And it's not just for books, because we have other stuff on it. Meow. <clears throat> Yeah, what? That's right. I meowed at you. I meowed at you. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Uh, mother needs one for their room to sort books while we were sorting under beds. Oh. Trying to get our rooms in order before I have to go back to work on the 4th? I see. I see, I see, I see. Meow. Meow, indeed. Oh, my lord. Heck. Off-brand, how you doing? Hope you're doing good. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Quack. Quack. Yo, what up, Red? It's been a while since I've had mushrooms, actually. When's the last time I had mushrooms? 
I don't mean the drug. I mean like the food. Uh, I think the last time I've had mushrooms was, uh, we made like a sort of, uh, I guess technically an antipasta, but it was really just like, you know how like you make a salad and you put all the toppings in it? Imagine not having like the green part of the salad, like no lettuce. Just toppings. That's that's basically what it was. We had a big batch of topping salad, as I like to call it. And we had some uh, marinated Italian mushrooms. Oh, those were great. Those were quite tasty. It was marinated Italian mushrooms. We had uh, feta cheese, Kalamata olives. Oh, tasty stuff. Yeah, well, you know what, Red? <gasps> Um, nom 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 <laughs> nom the red um, nom 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 <laughs> I don't like mushrooms I like mushrooms from a distance wow um. just breathe <gasps> <laughs> It's almost as cute as when Lucy does the bonk. She's just like, bonk. Bonk. <laughs> Lucy is so adorable, my goodness. And she does this cute little bonk motion when she's in VR. It's, it's so heckin' adorbs. Like, every time I see her do that, I just can't help but smile. Sometimes she's so adorable that I'm like, I'm reduced to being pretty much nonverbal because I am just like enchanted by her. She's so fucking cute. Good God. <laughs> oh, man. A slot need to get into the VR sometime. Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Shush. Shush me yourself, coward. Nom the red. Nom the red. Nom 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 nom. Uh, why do you have issues with being booped? Because I don't like how it feels. Like, one, it's invading my personal face. I don't really... Wait. It's invading my personal space and my personal face. <laughs> and I, I don't really like stuff being in and around my face. Especially my nose or eyes. Like... For for example, uh, a few days ago, I think it was like within the past week at least, uh, I I tried to I I had my mother administer eye drops to me, and she had to like hold my eyes open because I I just I have a thing with my eyes, and that where like I I just I just can't like. It, Yeah. For the same reason, I can't get contacts. Like, I wear glasses IRL, and I can't get contacts because touching my eyes or having things go into my eyes is, like, a big no-no. So, yeah. Man. <clears throat> Every time I have to do my eyeliner, holy shit, it's a struggle. I've gotten better about it over the years than it was when I when I first did eyeliner, but it's, holy shit, man. Quack. So hard. <laughs> Quack. Quack. Uh, glasses are still cuter no matter what. No, you. <laughs> Got them. Heckin' cutie. Respect the boundaries? Yes, exactly. 
I also wear glasses. Yo! Took a while for me to get used to my contacts. Oh. How dare you get me? Yeah, well, too bad. You got got. Glasses add plus 10 to adorable and hotness. Do they? I don't know. I guess it depends on, like, the person. And, like, the style of glasses. Because not all glasses are good. Because, like, I don't know. Like, especially in anime, they have, like, the super nerd glasses. And those are, like, not great. Uh, sometimes people look hotter with glasses. I don't know exactly why. Uh, I don't know. The glowing glasses? Oh, yeah. All according to Keikaku. Pushes up glasses. <laughs> Yeah. I have considered putting glasses on this model, but at this point I've I've had like no glasses for so long that it's it just kind of feels natural for this model not to have glasses. I don't know. Plus I'm lazy, so that's 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 also a factor. I I'm, I'm I'm quite lazy when it comes to that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I always forget to wear my glasses. Yo, when I first got my glasses, I kept forgetting to wear them. I remember one time, like, uh, the, sp the school bus had come, and it's like, I'm about to get on the bus, and I'm like, <gasps> I forgot my glasses! Then I had to run back into the house and get my glasses, put them on. <laughs> The bus driver wasn't happy about that, but it was, it's understandable. Yeah, that was in second grade, so I was, uh, I was seven, eight years old. Between seven and eight, yeah. And I, I got them pretty, pretty early, huh? Wait, no. Yeah? Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was seven slash eight. Yeah, yeah. Because... I, I'm a November baby, so I had my birthday like halfway through the school year, which is kind of weird, but understandable. Uh, I have glasses for distance, but I don't really wear them. I legally have to if I start to drive. Yeah, I'm nearsighted as well. Uh, I, I have to wear my glasses if I want to do, let's see, uh, anything really. <laughs> The only time that, like, I don't wear my glasses is, like, either if I'm sleeping, I'm showering, or, like, I'm reading manga with really small text. If the manga has really small text and I don't want to just enlarge, I'll just, like, take off my glasses and be like, all right, what the fuck does this say? And sometimes even then it doesn't help. Oh, oh frames connection are we good are we good connection i saw you go red for a second there all right we're good do people wear their glasses in vr uh not all of them not all of them so for me i do have to wear them because i'm farsighted and the way that vr lenses work is just like irl vision like it it does have depth to it. So if you're nearsighted IRL, you will need your glasses. The only way to get around this is if like if your vision is to the point where you don't need your glasses. Like you're you're nearsighted but you're not super nearsighted. I'm super nearsighted to the point where like if I'm not wearing my glasses in VR, I can't even see menus. Everything is blurry, right? But there's also like, uh, there are services where you can get prescription lenses for your VR. Like if you get a Valve Index, you can get prescription lenses. You can. 
how much does it cost? I have the I have the, the thing bookmarked somewhere. Uh where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god. Need to sort my Need to sort my bookmarks again. Is it there? No. Is it here? Ah, Valve Index Prescription Lens Adapter VR Optician. All right. So if you want to get prescription lenses for a valve index, it looks like it would be just like base price, about 70 bucks. Yeah. That's not terrible, I guess, but considering I got my glasses for free because of health insurance. That's 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 a bit much. What is your grade on glasses? I don't know. I have the information somewhere. I don't know where it is. But I I do need to get a an eye exam sometime soon. Last time I got my my eyes checked was 2016. So I I am in need of new glasses. It just doesn't really bother me because, like, in my daily life, I don't need to see super far away, okay? My trouble with those lenses would be my cylinder deviation. Oh. I wonder if that they, they account for that. Alright, here's, here's the site for the prescription uh, index lenses. I don't know if they like, if that's helpful to you guys, but yeah. With prescription, uh, there's Plano lenses, lenses without vision correction to protect your headsets lenses. Uh, I don't know. Looks like you can get a individual prescriptions for your left and your right. So, yeah. Insert prism. I don't know what that means. I don't know. VR fun, though. Love VR. Yeah, well, VR may be fun, but you're funner. Hey, how you doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see what I did there. That was, that was, yeah. That'd be extremely expensive for me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Hey, I can I mean I can be a I must stop. Be a what? What? Huh? Huh? What? Oh what? Oh what a what? Abada. Abadabadabra. My strength adds at least a hundred bucks. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. Mine is probably also pretty shit as well. I don't know my numbers because, like, that's not something I've ever needed to remember. I have a paper with it on, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's good. I'm not going there. What? Is, is something wrong? What, you don't want to casually flirt with me? What the heck? Lucy casually flirts with me and it's great. Jeez. How you doing, Lucy? <laughs> oh my word. Yo, Red. I bet, like, if you were to start <laughs> dating, you're the type of person that, like, Initially, it probably wouldn't be amazing, but it would probably, like, I feel like you're the type of person that would really grow on them. 
because you're a mushroom. <laughs> ah, the puns. It's beautiful. It's glorious. You're welcome. <laughs> I was going to make a sus joke off of what you said. Didn't know the boundary, so I didn't want to risk it without knowing. I mean, suggestive is fine as long as it's not like outright. Uh, uh, what's what's the word? I I can't think of the word. But suggestive is fine, but like, don't don't be too much. Don't be like super descriptive or anything, right? Uh, I get new contacts every six months. I kind of know mine. That's fair. Creepy? I was creepy once. I have mental scars. Anyways, <laughs> Mimic Chest, howdy. How you doing? How's the lovely Mimic doing? Got yourself so flops hand forward. I mean, I can be a good time. Hey. I mean, yeah, you probably could. I'm sure you could. You seem to be fairly outgoing. Could probably have a, a wonderful time. I'm sure, I'm sure you would be quite the enjoy. Get it? Get it? Ah, ah. <laughs> hey. What? Huh? <laughs> hey, nice. Yeah, yeah. See what I did there. Hey. Hey, Lamau. It's not an alien, it's an A Lamau. Hog. Had to refresh the bloody page, thanks, internet, into an ad. Well, <laughs> heck. You heard nothing. Oh. Back. Hello. Hello, back. Skill issues? What kind of issues are you having skills with? Wait. What kind of skills are you having issues with? Are people being cutie still? Looks like it. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm sure you have a mirror, Joy. <laughs> hey. Hey, Lamau. If you want to see a cutie, look no farther than your mirror. Because there's a cutie in the mirror, and it's you. Don't finesse me. <laughs> I'll give you something to finesse. I don't know what that means, but I'll do it. <laughs> ah, fuck. Oh shit, Red coming in with the D's nuts joke. <laughs> ah, nice. Oh yeah, vintage story. There's a so we're we're playing with uh some like basic mods on the server and it adds like peanuts, I believe. I think that's one of the things that it adds. If it's something that's vanilla, then there's more functionality to it at least. So peanuts is one of the few things that we we haven't gotten for food wise we we just recently got eggs and maple syrup because it's winter and like we haven't gotten peanuts but there's a bunch of foods that you can make with peanuts specifically like you can make a trail mix you can make peanut butter oh super looking forward to all that or why is there a D's Nuts scented candle on your throne? Because I like scented candles and that's one of the few options. 
yeah, on my throne, there's a, a scented candle that the smell is called D's Nuts. Yeah. What's 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 so weird about that? Is is something wrong with that? Is there a problem? I don't think there's a problem. What? Don't make a joke. Don't make a joke. Don't make a joke. What? Sometimes I just want to smell these nuts. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Why is Throne taking so long to respond? I try to... Let me open page. Click page. There it goes. That candle is called both of these nuts. It's hazelnut and vanilla. There's another candle I have on there called Blood Oath. What? What? Sh where? Where's how? How to make image bigger? I can't really see what it says for the uh. What it actually smells like. Oh well. I've got some Switch games on there because I'm poor <laughs> and I want to play Switch games. Uh, yeah. Love fruit smelling candles. Yo, same. I've got a scented candle right here that's called Warm Apple Pie and holy shit, it smells so good. It's like a nice cinnamon and apple smell. With like a hint of butter, I guess. Because like it's a warm apple pie. Oh, it's so good. Love green apple candies or candles. Both really, honestly. I used to have this uh, eucalyptus candle. It was like my favorite one because I love that minty smell. A lot of people don't know that eucalyptus is like a minty smell. That's something I always liked. Yeah. I have the remains of it in my closet. So whenever I open up my closet, I get that nice, like getting hit in the face by that scent because it's just got like a tiny bit of candle left that won't burn. So it's just like aired out into my closet. <laughs> it's great. It's great. I love it. Yeah. Speaking of things I love. <gasps> all of you. Aw, look at all you. Aw, you're so sweet. Sorry, what the fuck did I just get followed by the creator of Vignon on Mastodon? What's Vignon? I'm guessing that's some other group that I don't know of. And getting followed by random people is pretty much expectable. Ex expectable? Expected. Oh my god. I just can't word today. How does one word? How does one word? Like, honestly. How does one word? Oh my god. Vignon is a very powerful 3D VTubing application. Oh, I see. I mean, I guess like, uh, not to be that person, but usually when I see like applications like that, following people, usually it's like kind of a way of promotion, like follow all these people that use the specific tag that we want our product associated with. And then like you look at their 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 profile and it's like following super high amount of people followed by this amount of people as well. It's all good. They're independent and a VTuber themselves. Oh. Well, you know what that means then, Joy? That means that Senpai noticed you. I mean, Senpai noticed you. Means you must be doing something hella right. Good job. Hey. Good job. 
still cute, cool AF to have you on the Mastodon instance? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the the first, like, what am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's like, I didn't really know how Mastodon worked. And so it's like, I didn't know that there were like instances of like the stuff. So I, I just signed, signed up there because that's where it was. And it's like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. What could possibly go wrong, right? Ha ba 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 ba. We make it easy for peeps to come over. <gasps> you have sugary birds there? Oh my gourd. Oh my gourd. Do you get it? Because you said peeps. <laughs> ah. Peeps are the the marshmallow bird candy that come out every Easter and they're really mid. A lot of people they really like that, but like it's 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 just mid. That's not even that great. You love sugar? I'll give you some sugar. Hey. <laughs> See what I did there? Do you get it? Do you get the joke? I'm the joke. What? I didn't say anything. Hello. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. It's already been an hour. Bruh. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. No, we're good. Uh, also, no regrets. Aura and Lucy has really cute voices. Lucy does. I don't. My voice is like a lawnmower. Yep. It gets the job done, but it's not a great sound. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. I like sugar. All right. I'm changing my name to sugar. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, oh, connection? Hello? Why you go red? Why you go red, internet? What are you doing? What are you, why are you dropping frames? Stop that. Get some help. Jeez. No lawn- No, the lawnmower is the tiny fan on my desk vibrating like a lovin's lamau. Oh. I was about to make that joke, Aura, rude. Wow. Oh. Connection. Fix your shit. Jeez. I am dropping all the frames. Not literally all the frames, but a lot of them. C connection. H hello. Oh, and it's dead. Oh. Oh. Hello? Connection? Still in the red. Still in the red. Connection is red. I'm not sure when it's okay to talk because it's still in the red. Well then. Oh. 
Oh, yellow, green, yellow, red. Well, poop. You can hear me. It's green. Oh shit. Oh, uh, never mind. It's it's red again. Orange. What? It was huh. Usually it's green, yellow, red. Why was it orange? How how? What? I didn't know it could go orange. Oh, that's so that it did it again. It did it again. My connection is trying to put on like a, some sort of Christmas show or something. It just keeps going flashing green, red, blue, not blue, orange, yellow. <laughs> it's like traffic lights. Yeah, it, it really is. Oh my God. Oh, that was a much darker orange. Okay, cool. Well, apparently it wasn't my modem that was the problem for for connection. Cause this this is fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. Uh refresh I get ads, thanks Twitch. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a a 90 second ad just to be sure. That way if y'all have to refresh anyways, uh you won't get the, the pre-roll. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba da. Man, this connection bullshit really ruined my my rizzing with Lucy. Oh my god. Maybe I should just call it for the time being, because holy shit. Rizzing everyone, you mean? <gasps> you can hear me. Oh my god. The magical orange. You're magical. Magically delicious. Because you're a lucky charm. Hey! I love all these little jingles. Welcome to ADHD. Slash autism. I, I, I do that sort of thing a lot. It's sort of like to to fill empty space. I believe it's, it's it's I think it might be called stimming. Maybe, as you said that you buffered. I'll buffer your face with uh. I don't know. I couldn't think of anything cool. Uh. <laughs> Mood, you're a mood. Oh, uh, connection. Goodness gracious, I've dropped over ten thousand frames. Holy shit! I do not have the ADHD, but am just mad. I might have something, but I have no idea. Uh, I think you might have ADHD. Because uh, what I've noticed from watching your streams is uh, you do this thing where you like 
sort of hesitate on words. It's almost like a stutter, but not really. It's almost like a... You just kind of pause and then finish a word. I have a friend that does the same thing. And uh, he was actually diagnosed with ADHD. And the reason why uh, it wasn't noticed sooner is because he was kind of self uh medicating by having soda like caffeine caffeinated soda man i don't even know if i don't even know if you hear me right now bro oh my god connection connection fix your shit fix your shit connection oh my god are are we good? Are we good? Nope, we're not. Well, poop. Every time I see it turn to green, I'm like, oh, there, there it goes. The moment I talk. It just... How fucking dare you? Never noticed, actually. I had issues in uni where somebody kept pointing out when I was presenting that I was stuttering. The people behind the scenes were just like, wow, that person is a dick, referring to the person pointing out my stutter. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty dickish. That's pretty dickish. But yeah, I, I, I have a friend that does the exact same thing. Something I noticed, I never personally addressed it, but uh, it's just something that I just kind of noticed. He would just be talking and just like stop on a random word and then continue. They were just full of themselves. I don't know, man. Yeah, the, the buffering is strong with this one. Holy shit, I've I've dropped so many frames. Goodness gracious. I'm wondering if it's my connection or if it's like the servers. Y'all, do me a favor. Check other streams and see if they're also having troubles. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to do a speed test and see if that relates. Oh, heck. Checking my connection with speedtest.net. speedtest.net Download is looking good, very much so. Not quite as good as earlier, but still pretty darn good. Upload speed, let's see. Okay, yeah, it's probably my connection because upload is just like not, it's just not going. All right, that's cool. All right, sweet. My... My upload rate, according to speed test, is uh, a zero. That's great. Definitely my connection then. All right. Well, I guess I should probably uh, end stream then. Because <laughs> it's just going to continue doing this shit for a while. Oh, my God. Didn't really think about that, actually. I just kind of let it happen. Like the stumble stutter. Other streams looking fine. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's 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 my connection. All right. Well, because my connection is being extremely shite, uh, I'll I'll just I'll just uh, we we can wrap up here. Man, I was having fun. I'm not allowed to have fun anymore. Bruh, Manhattan or New England? What? Do you mean like the that area in New York? 
Manhattan is a specific part of New York, right? I think. And then, like, New England is just, like, the northeastern states. It's not specifically, like, just New York. But New York is part of it. Clam chowder. You're a clam chowder. I don't know what that means, but get caught. All's good, Aura. Have a good night. Yeah. Fun is now illegal. I know, right? All right, guys. I don't know if you can even hear me, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll do a quick check to see if I can throw you guys at someone. Uh, <laughs> Pain Peko. Uh, you know what? I can throw you guys at uh, the best lobster. The best lobster. Yes. Uh, slash raid. Blissy Sama. Today we are raiding Blissy Sama. She is super heckin' poggers. Uh, she is a lobster VTuber. And she's playing Final Fantasy XIV online. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully you guys have a lot of fun over there. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully next time I stream, it won't be shit like this. Anyways, y'all have fun over there. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And goodbye to Vlad Gang 2, if you can even hear me. Bye.